Hello, my soccer universe. Well, a little bit too much French here. I decided to wear PSG. Uh, I really had a hard time picking a new since I have a blue undershirt. I want to wear a blue jersey and where to start this weekend is gonna be crazy. There are so many big games all over Europe. And to be honest, none of the big games are in Spain and in England. So it's all the outside of that. The Premier League actually is in this summer winter break where we have half around now, half around later. I wasn't even thinking of wearing CD because of that, but nope. PSG this day at least are in a big game. Uh, yes, I've been a little bit uh, French leaning as of late, but this will change soonish. Not saying much, but let's go. Let's see. Uh, I already said it in Spain. I have to say there are also, I think, two really interesting games and maybe a third one. We have Getafe Valencia. I think this is three against four or three against five. So uh, definitely an uh, interesting match when it has the Saturday four o'clock spot that is usually reserved for a big game in La Liga. We have on Sunday at two o'clock Real Sociedad Athletic Club. So this is the Basque Derby, a huge rivalry right there. Osasuna, maybe a banana skin for Real Madrid, and Real Betis uh, could also be a banana skin for Barcelona, especially the way that all the unrest that's happening in Barcelona. Um, as of this re recording, they still have to play against Bilbao, so I'm quite interested in the cup, so I'm quite interested to see how that is going. Atletico Madrid Canada would have been a good one a few weeks ago, but I think now it does not excite me for either team. Premier League, as I said, it's half a round, so we have four games now, and then there are six games later. It's just to stretch it out, uh, almost unnecessary. Everton Palace is one that could be interesting. Manchester City, West Ham should be a bit down. Uh, it, nothing really exciting, to be honest, to me in the Premier League. So let's move on. Bundesliga, which probably holds the game of the weekend. I also already think that Frankfurt, Augsburg, although I, for some reason, Augsburg, nothing against Augsburg per se, but uh, for, uh, another Bundesliga team. So, uh, but I think that could could be an interesting one. But um, if you look at it, uh, I'm less excited about the um, Saturday afternoon games. But the uh, Leverkusen Dortmund looks already good. Sunday we have a 3:30 Gladbach Köln. That's a huge rivalry, but should be rather one-sided. And then of course the big one, Bayern Leipzig. One v two. Uh, most high profile game of the weekend, I would argue, if I take not not now the most historic um, clash that will come in the next league, but that is probably that, that, that's for sure the highest profile game. And yeah, it lines up a very interesting Sunday for me that I'm gonna watch, can't be certain of that. Then Serie A. I mean, it all starts a little bit slow. Roma Bologna. One game I think I want to watch that one. Fiorentina Atalanta. For some reason, I could imagine this being a fun game. Uh, although Fiorentina, I really would be great if Ribery could come back. Verona now having two draws and is now playing it at home against Juventus. I'm interested in whether they could do something there. So uh, we have interesting games already on Saturday. Uh, Parma Lazio is. Um, Interesting fixture late on Sunday, but of course you're gonna watch Bayern Leipzig unless you're a Serie A not. But even this Serie A not here will watch Bayern against Le Leipzig and keep that as a backup. The big one then, Derby de la Madonnina, Inter against Milan. Uh, you will get a jersey uh, shown from each one of these teams from me to kind of celebrate this derby. Um, it is my favorite derby, although as of late it's not that, but you know, Milan, this is my derby. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the Tifos. This time we should get a great Tifo from Inter and a slightly smaller one from Milan, but I'm really curious to see what's going to happen there. If you ask me, I expect Inter to win this rather comfortably, but let's see. Milan can surprise. Inter has, uh, for sure, uh, not Lattaro Martinez, maybe even Handanovic, so... Has to be seen how this will go. So that's one that I'm really excited about. Must watch takes precedence over most other games uh, the, uh, around that time. Or over all the other games around that time. 
One of those is the last game here, PSG Lyon, but you know, we all had a bit this Barcelona. So yeah, uh, there's some rivalry for, for that slot, but it's the uh, Milan Derby. Uh, other than that, um, Montpellier Saint Etienne, anyone? That could be interesting. I don't see otherwise the huge matchup there. There's a Breton Derby, Rennes against Brest. Maybe for one of my colleagues who is from Brittany, that could be interesting. He's from Brest and his father is a big Rennes fan. So probably an interesting one for him but it doesn't stop in the top five leagues i have quite some leagues to pick uh competitions we have the big one in portugal saturday 9 30 porto benfica seems to be one put this one on a uh, big matchup last chance for porto to get anything going that's I think one of those must-watch games that we definitely have to talk about. Um, in Belgium, while uh, Club Rouge is really far away, we do have Ghent against Anderlecht. That could be interesting, but uh, also Standard is playing home to Club Rouge, which is kind of, you know, can we reel them back a little bit? So uh, that is also an interesting matchup. In the Netherlands, Ajax... It's a sort of, I mean, it's a way game at Utrecht, but it's the other, uh, the next four that play each other. We have a five against four matchup with PSV against Willem Dwey. Very important for PSV to get something there. And then we have AZ against Feyenoord uh, on Sunday at 2.30. Also really interesting. Uh, Feyenoord maybe could pull uh, Alkmaar back, but it could go also the other way. I'm also interested in that one because Lask will play that's it very very soon so definitely one to watch in the netherlands in uh turkey uh, when you if you look at the fixture list it doesn't look all that crazy and then you realize sivasburg against bajakshi here sunday two o'clock that's one versus two yes also in turkey we have a huge 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 matchup so uh Watch out for that one. Everyone behind will probably be hoping the Bajakshi here or they'll draw and the next the top three uh, in Turkey can get in there. So really interesting matchups there as well. In Austria, we have a cup round. Uh, nothing that exciting, but we have Lask against Sturm Graz, which is a game that I'm sure gonna watch. And that will probably take the uh, president even over Leverkusen Dortmund because I'm a Lask fan. I was even thinking of going to the stadium uh with the family but it's probably a little bit too late for my girls so yeah probably will stay and watch at home but this is one game i'm watching i'm quite excited that lusk is finally playing again they have a horrible program because to start the year we have first storm guards at home which uh at home we always have some trouble but we're playing on the big stadium not in a small stadium um that we have been before um at least for this match. Um, there's also a stadium that we play in Europe. Then we have to play on Valentine's Day Salzburg away. This is then the 1v2 matchup. Uh, and then we have Alkmaar. So, it's a rough start to, to the season. Um, we are not done yet. We also have uh, Greece where, um, yes, Olympiakos and Pauk have uh, manageable uh, opponents, but then there's the Big Athens style between Ike and Panathinaikos. Pretty big one as well. So, depending on what you can watch, I think there is a whole lot to watch uh, this weekend. It's huge. There are many matchups in there that could uh, already decide or point the way um, or see who's going up and down. I'm uh, The um, review videos for that one, they will take me some time, I'm sure. Anyway, let me know what you will be watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.